hello sir Neville here from CSM6 so today I am here to present you my web API project in C sharp the project is a multi-user chat application with the support of two modes the application works in one-to-one -one chat mode and another is the broadcast mode in one-to-one -one chat mode two users can chat privately and in the broadcast mode users can create multiple channels and the users online within the particular channel will be able to chat in a group okay so i am using signal r for the real time updates in the chat window and with that being said uh, moving forward with the implementation details uh, the solution contains two major projects one is the chat.web that is the web application or web api project and the another is chat.desktop that is the client wpf based application so if i talk about more in chat.web so here are the controllers hubs and models and everything that deals with database and the hubs basically are the signal are com concepts so hub is a kind of server which listens to multiple users responses and upon receiving that request it replies to that particular user so here is the chat hub implementation as you can see different methods are there send private send to room and all of these implementation is very well commented next here is the database and all of these are uh, listed tables okay so with that being said let me just run my project okay so we now have got our application up and running and we got our login screen as well but before moving forward let me just register as a new user so i will create account the username let's just say it is joy and the username must be at least five characters long okay so i will append one one all of this scenario has been handled uh, and again email address uh, let's say joy at dot com password is abcd at the rate one two three four password is abcd at the rate one two three four and the full name is j uh, and you can also select the multiple avatar uh, you can select from any of these multiple avatar and uh, hit register uh, so upon clicking on this register button i will be redirected to the dashboard page and i will be able to chat with multiple users but before that i want to simulate the process uh, that is let's say the email someone enters the message email that is already act, that already exists into the system so if i take you to the uh, users database we can see the navy perma 24 email already has been assigned to this particular user enable one so if someone let's say joy enters the enable perma 24 then he will not be able to use this email since the email already exists into the system so all i want to say is the email must be unique and we cannot have multiple account with the same email address okay email permal after 24 and enter password abcp after 1234 and just uh, change this email moving with the default after click on register and yeah we got ourselves registered to the system and we now have landed to the dashboard page so as you can see here the page dashboard page is mainly divided into the three sections the leftmost uh, section contains the list of all the available chat rooms in the system 
with the manage profile button on the left bottom and this is the logout button next on the middle section we have the chat window where you can type your messages and send to the particular chat room or to the particular user and on to the right side we have the available online users uh, list where you can search someone and just ping, ping to them okay so now i will do what i will do is uh, i will open multiple clients web as well as the uh, desktop client and we'll try to mimic the process of uh, group chat between them okay so for that i will use the already registered account maybe one one and the password is abcd at the right one two three four i know the password is abcd one two three four but for the sake of testing i will write abcd at the right one two three hit on sign in and it will say we couldn't authenticate you please enter the valid info now i will append four and the info is correct hit on sign in button and yeah we got the login screen on the naval user as well again uh, let me just open another client mm, debug start new instance and for that screen i will use the ashes uh, ashes and password will be bcd and the rate one two three four sign in okay so now we have got our two desktop client and one web client running parallelly okay so as we can see uh, the chat room list all of the available chat rooms and for that you can also create a chat room by your own so let's just create chat room by the uh, from the jal patel joy patel user account click on this plus sign and the room name let's say will be problem solving all of the problem discussion will be uh, done onto this particular channel click on create and it will create the channel for us upon clicking on this channel we can multi uh, we can simultaneously go between channels okay and if i go on to this uh, two clients the chat room name will be updated okay next uh, what i'll do is go to the problem solving on to all of these clients go to problem solving and hit this uh, window it will enter the message saying hello all and hit enter so the message as soon as i hit enter the message has been delivered to all the clients onto this particular channel and if i go to the test room one the hello all will not be displayed since the message was sent to this particular channel okay next feature uh, we have the one to one chat mode where user just click on to the particular user let's say from jay patel we want to uh, let's say the jay patel want to chat with neville parmar and then he will just click on neville parmar and type his message let's say say hello neville okay and he done enter so if i open the neville window the hello neville from jay patel timestamp and uh, basically the message has been listed onto this neville screen but if i open the ashish window he will not be able to see the message uh, personally between neville and jay so this is the uh, one to one chat mode uh, again let's say neville replies to jay that hi jay so the hi jay message from neville parma which timestamp and it has been listed onto this particular to use this window okay so next is uh, deleting this particular uh, chat window so the chat uh, channel 
will be only uh, deleted by the admin or creator of that particular channel. No other user will be able to delete that particular channel. And uh, if I'm not wrong, we created the channel problem solving from the Jai Patel account. So now if I uh, try to uh, delete this uh, channel from Neville Pamar account, then he will see the message, can't delete this chat room, only owner can delete this room. So this privacy, uh, the security uh, the system provides is fabulous. Okay. Uh, so let's just try to delete this channel from the Jai Patel original owner account. Click on this cross sign and it says, are you sure you want to delete this chat room? I say, yeah, delete this. So it says room problem solving has been deleted. And if I open this another client on the desktop window, the room now got disappeared. Okay. So we have now moved to the test room one, the default room. Okay, what else you can do here is you can also share emoji from the available set of different uh, emojis here. Click enter and it will send the emojis to that channel or in the message. Next, what we can do here is uh, share media as well. So I can send any JPG, PNG images. Let me just open this, my photos, and uh, share this particular image. Error validation failed because that image was, uh, might not be in the particular format. Okay, so let's just use this one. And yeah, uh, we got the uh, image onto this shared button uh, sorry chat window so image has been shared and if i open this again the image has been sent to all of these users and if you click on this image then it will load the image from the upload folder cool the media support is also there onto this chat application and next we can also search someone from the online user so if i search for uh then it will uh, immediately update this window if i search for uh, let's say blah 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 then no one will appear since the match does not exist uh, she is yeah it just updates the screen upon this uh, pattern matching okay so that's it for this window now we will move to the manage profile section go to j profile click on this j profile and we have now got our username phone number and all of these so i can add my phone number it's 7620616919 hit on save so phone number has been updated now i can also uh, send a verification email from here that is just the default button since the message uh, email button i can also update my email mm, i can also update my password here abcd at the rate one two three four abcd at the rate one two three four the password current password is now i will enter navel at the rate one two three four new password navel at the rate one two three four click on update password so your password has been changed next this uh, personal data so basically you can delete your uh, delete uh, your account and all of your messages your rooms will get deleted so it's just the destruction of your uh, data account okay so now that is it for this application and uh, I hope I have made my points clear and all of the implementation details. Uh, I will be listing all of these implementation details in the report. So that's it for the application, sir. Thank you so much for listening to me and have a nice day. Thank you.